Welcome to RK Varsity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate, analyze and interpret the chi-square test for k independent samples. In my previous lectures, I shown you how to calculate chi-square test on a single sample as well as a two independent samples. In this uh, lecture, I will show you how to use chi-square test to test independence of k independent samples. When we are saying that the k independent samples which means that your samples or your groups are more than 2. It may be a 3, 4 or a 5. The chi-square test for k independent samples is required when uh, frequencies in discrete categories that is either on a nominal scale or a ordinal scale constitute of a data for research. Chi-square test may be used to determine the significance of a differences among k independent groups. When you are saying that k independent groups your groups uh, may be greater than 2. Now the chi-square test for k independent samples is a straightforward extension of uh, chi-square test for 2 independent samples and the method what we uh, follow here to calculate the k independent samples is a similar to the 2 independent samples. The only difference is that here in this case the groups are greater than 2 whereas in uh, chi-square test for 2 independent samples it is only 2. In general the test is the same for both uh, two or k independent samples. All right, the null hypothesis that we make here is that k samples of frequencies or proportions have come from the same population or identical population. This is a null hypothesis. And the alternative hypothesis is that k samples differs from each other. If you find the alternative hypothesis is true, in that case, uh, you need to run a follow-up test. Here is our uh, first example. An automobile manufacturing company in its employee survey asked these two questions in a 30 item questionnaire. Now for each of the aspects shown below, please rate your level of agreement uh, using an agreement scale. So 1 is not at all, 2 is a slight extent, 3 is a moderate extent, 4 is a great extent and 5 is a very great extent. Now the question that was posed here is, do you receive recognition from the organization for doing a good work? Now, uh, the groups are under 2 years of work experience, then 2 to 5 years and 5 plus years. That is, uh, this is a length of service with an organization. So, this is measured on a nominal scale or you can say that ordinal scale because uh, you are giving a uh, order that is less than 2 years, 2 to 5 and 5 plus years. There is a categorical and ordinal and uh, here it is measured on an ordinal uh, scale. So here I gave you a uh, uh, simple outline on uh, how important is uh, recognition in an organization just to make you understand that uh, why this organization measured uh, uh, employee recognition uh, in the survey. So here uh, we have uh, a data for this. Now your recognition and the service. Now just go to variable view and look at the service values. And here it says that 1 is less than 2 years, 2 is 2 to 5 years and 3 is a 5 plus years. And here your labels clearly indicate that. So recognition is do you receive recognition from the organization for doing a good work and uh, next is the length of a service. To run your uh, chi-square test, so from menu command choose analyze and here uh, go to descriptive statistics and from the different options available in the descriptive statistics choose cross tabs. So in a cross tabs rows, you send a length of a service to the rows and do you receive recognition, send this to the column. Then uh, uh, go to statistics. So here choose the chi-square test, then click continue. Then click on a cells button here. Now observe cells is by default along with observe cells also choose expected. And if you want, you can go for a percentages of a row and a column, but uh, I don't prefer going for a row and column percentages because that will make your uh, output table very cluttered. So instead of that, we stick with the observed and expected, then uh, continue, then click OK. Here is the result of a chi-square test for k independent samples. Why are we saying that k independent samples is this has got a three groups. So whenever you have a three or a more groups, then you go for a K independent samples chi-square test. So here the values uh, are given along with the observed values and expected uh, count. 
and total number of respondents were uh, 300 uh, total count in each category was given here now look at the chi-square test result so the Pearson chi-square test result indicates that the power value is 0.09 which is greater than 0.05 that means you are supposed to retain the null hypothesis when you are retaining a null hypothesis what it indicates is there is no significant difference in the opinions expressed by uh, these different three different groups of employees that is employees with a different length of a service in an organization has no uh, difference in opinion related to whether the organization recognizes their work or not now if your significance value is at a 10 percent then you will reject the null hypothesis saying that there is a significant differences but as we frame it we want to test it at a 5 percent significance level we retain the null hypothesis and says that there is no significant difference in the opinion expressed by different employees with a different length of service in an organization this is a uh, one uh, example and uh, we have a second example here so in this uh, example this is second example from the same uh, automobile manufacturer the question asked was that do you feel that your opinion seems to count to the organization now this is uh, measured in uh, a rating scale that is a uh, one not at all to a five very great then uh, different age groups so here the demographic variable that is your independent variable is a age group so a nominal uh, variable or you can say because if you are uh, rating it on uh, different levels then you can go for a ordinal so this is your categorical variable in, in terms categorical ordinal and here i gave a small note on uh, what is the uh, importance of sense of value of employees in an work organization uh, from a gallup study now here again the data is in a same uh, spss uh, worksheet but here it is a valued and a group and if you look at here uh, values are one is 18 to 30 years 31 to 40 years uh, 50 plus years is the age groups here then if you look at uh, the rating one not at all two is a slight three is a moderate four is a great and five is a very great so to run a chi-square test for uh, k independent samples then you need to go to uh, analyze from a menu command then uh, descriptive statistics then cross tabs so your cross tabs already uh, previous values are there simply click on a reset button now uh, age code uh, select this and send to the rows then uh, do you feel send value that is uh, select this and send to columns then uh, statistics choose the chi square test click uh, continue then go to cells choose uh, expected then uh, click continue then click ok so here is a chi-square uh, test result now look at the uh, chi-square value that is a PSN chi-square value is 8.173 degrees of freedom is 12 so your degrees of freedom is row, row minus 1 into column minus 1 then your significance value is 0.77 which is much higher than your 0 0.05 level so Based on this uh, significance value, we retain the null hypothesis. When we are retaining a null hypothesis, we uh, interpret that there is no significant difference in opinions expressed by individuals or employees with the different age groups related to whether the organization will value their opinions or not. So this is how you need to run a chi-square test for K independent samples in IBM SPSS and interpret the results. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the lecture.